Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini and this is the Enchanted Planner. I tell you, I'm very excited. It's time. It's time. It is time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> to set up my <coughs> social media planner uh, for 2022. Which this planner is more, well actually it's everything. It's business, it's social media, it's running my YouTube channel in addition to running my other side of my business. So it's a busy planner. In fact, I've been contemplating splitting it into two, but I don't really want another planner. So I'm hoping I can make this work. So my <laughs> planner of choice for 2022 is the Bold and Blush. I love, love, love how neutral this is. Totally got my vibe. Um, I'm not too fond of the dividers or not all of them. Like, I really like this one. Um... April. I'm not sure. I mean, most of them are okay. It's I don't really pay too much attention to the dividers, honestly. One, because I cut the tabs off. And two, because I usually slip things in front of them. So I don't really see the dividers too terribly much. So I have this planner. I also have some other goodies on the side here. I have this pack of uh, insert paper, which is like daily planning. Then I've got a bunch of stuff over here that I've collected. <laughs> and then this... So we're going to put this all together. Now, I had wanted to move on to black discs. So we're going to start by taking the covers off of here. Okay. And then we're going to grab the covers. And we are going to stick the discs on them. I'm so excited. I'm going to... Funny, oddly enough, I really wanted black discs for all of the planners. But the planner that I've chosen for my... Um, classic catch-all looks better with rose gold so I'm like Ding, that's all right now because it's like there's like a couple of weeks left in December so I think I'm gonna move over but I'm gonna leave like I'll bring the balance of December with me because why not right so we're gonna take off these they're a little bit difficult to get off and I don't want to break it so bear with me while I maneuver these off the desks. These are fantastic. They are the frosted covers from Live Love Posh. I bought them, I bought two sets, one for each planner. I probably should have bought a third one, but the other planner doesn't get nearly as much use as these ones do. But I probably should have put these on with the planner covers. That would have been smart. Instead, you get to see me struggle a bit. But I am hoping that these frosted covers will protect the planner covers because to be honest, especially black covers, they get beat up really, really badly and they look terrible after that. So that was my whole reason for buying these as well as if I don't want um, a regular cover and I want to just put in like the printable dashboards that I do as the cover. Like it gives me options if they're clear. I like clear. If you haven't noticed from my other planners, I love clear. Very good when they're clear. Okay, so now what we do need is I'm gonna need to pull off my inbox dashboard. And this goes at the front of my planner. So it is the sort of hub for any sticky notes that I need to address that may not be in the planner already. So that's what that takes care of. Then we are going to pull, where is it? I still need to put December in here because we are only at the 15th today. So I'm going to pull out the December stuff and we'll leave that at the front just simply so I don't forget what I've got to do. And then I'm going to flip into the weekly that I am on because we still have like two more weeks in this planner. So let's pull that over. Okay, and that takes care of that. This originally I dated it all, but I realized that that is in the new planner. So I don't really need that. And I don't need those because that never got used. All right, so let's head into this new beautiful planner. And we are going to grab, do I want the hello page? Well, yeah, I guess so. We'll pull these. And we'll take that sticky note off of there. And we're going to put these in. Okay. OK. 
Okay, and then we will put in the month of January. Because this planner has so much stuff going into it, I usually only put in a month at a time just to keep the keep the space down because <laughs> it gets pretty full pretty quick. Now what I did do is I pulled out some um, other planner covers that I figured went not too bad with these discs. And I'm just gonna slip these on to protect the pages so they don't get all heat up going in and out of the shelving, right? All right, I don't really need that. Okay, so we are back here. So now, um, 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 I wanted to do this a bit differently this year. I want some daily pages. So we are going to need a divider for that. Um, I think we're going to take this, and this is going to get a new. This is going to get a new label. Okay, and this is where the daily is going to go. So let's just move this out of the way. Have you all set up your planners yet? Um, I was going to like do it a bit differently and then wait until like actually the first week you know like the last week of this month to um set this all up but i wanted to get it done and then because i'm already starting to plan for january so therefore we kind of need just gonna pull off i don't use these every day the days that i have a lot going on i figure I may as well have them in here because um, I run out of room sometimes on the dashboard and it gets messy and I don't like the way it looks when it's messy. So I'm like, well, let's throw these in and have some just for those days where I've got a lot to get done and I've got the focus priorities on the go. All right, so I'll throw a few of those in. Okay, so this will be for the daily. Let's go that out of the top. So I'll stick those in. They don't want to line up very well. Okay, there we go. We are happening. It's a snapping and happening. Okay, so that makes the daily. I'm going to leave that for now. I do want this tab. Because this is where all of my video stuff gets housed. Um... I don't need that one because I need this one, need this one, and that one. So I'll pull these over. These are where I record the process. I just made these up and printed them on my laptop, but then I can take it through like film edit, upload description for all of the stuff, right? And then what is next? I have another section here. So then I use this. To separate the next section which is my fitness studio videos okay and I want this tab and I want that one I'm just not sure where I'm gonna stick this one yet but we'll put it in here because I can always move it easily enough and then got the last two which are also going to get renamed but for right now they say Instagram YouTube and then I've got one that's blank at the bottom that I use for note paper so we're just gonna throw all these in looks like they all need a bath again I don't know how these things get as grubby as they do because they're in the planner like they they don't they don't do anything it's not supposed to go there supposed to go here okay so now we should all line up we all line up yay okay so we've got the building blocks we've got the building blocks the other thing that I have pulled out is I've got a really nice printable dashboard that I want to slip in here because once I remove the month of December um, we're gonna slip this right here okay and then I'll have a nice 
clear thing over top, right? Will that work? Let me see. No, it's supposed to be behind her because once I remove, I like it to sit behind my inbox. So once I remove this one, I will get to look at this one for a while because it's now officially, well, by the time you see this, it's now officially winter. So it's all cool. It's all good in the hood. All right, so now on the side here, I do like to pull the monthly dashboards out of um, this monthly planner. I don't like the way like the pages are all laid out, but I do like that. So let's pull this and we're gonna slip this behind this over here. Or do I want it in front? I don't think I'm gonna do it in front. Okay, so we'll put that in the front. Now, I also have, what else do I got here? I pulled a month of the girl, or sorry, this is the hustle and heart, because I wanted to use these. But I don't really want the um, month, like the, the weeklies, but let me see. So if we do, I don't really need the monthly, but I wanted this and this, and then this and this, but I don't want these. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I got to keep them because then I've got this and this again. So that's in between every week. Well, 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 that kind of changes my thought process. Do I still want to use this? What else have I got in this cord over here? Got some note, note paper for the back, which I can stick off the side for a second. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see how it feels, right? So we've got the cover, and then this is December, but ignore that. And then so it'll open to that. And then these will not be here. Okay. And then this would be start. And then I like this one too. So that's one dashboard. And then we've got the monthly overview type stuff. I may get rid of this because really all I'm after is these two. But then the other benefit too is if I have two monthlies in here, I can use one for the Enchanted Planner channel and then one for um, the studio, the fitness business. That's an idea. So maybe I'll keep both of those monthlies. Then we've got what will be the dailies and I will make a label for that. Actually, let me do that right now. Let me grab the label maker. Hold the phone. Okay. We have the, the label maker. This is <clears throat> such an awesome purchase. I've had this for years. <clears throat> All right. So this will be daily. Just print that out. Um, I bought this probably, I don't know, 15 years ago. And at the time it was quite spendy, but worth every penny because I use this thing. Oh, I use this thing. I use it so much. Use it so much. Okay. So I'm just going to line this up. Here's my, <laughs> here's how I figure this out. So I kind of just line it up and then make a couple of little notches. And then I will just come in here and kind of cut them on that sort of angle. And throw out the trash. It doesn't want to come off the, oh, here we go. And then what I'll do is when I lay them down, I always fold up is it going this way I always fold up a teeny tiny bit of the corner so if I need to get it off it's relatively easy to get the damn thing off instead of fighting with it by folding up the corner I use I've got like a little piece to use as leverage to get it off so it's perfect so you see I can slide my fingernail underneath it now and I can lift it instead of having to argue with the dang thing okay so that's the dailies Okay, so we've got dailies, and then we move into filming stuff, which is for both of them. And then I've got research, um, Instagram, this is in the wrong spot, Instagram, YouTube, and then notes. 
So do I really want to add in that girl with gold or not girl with goals hustle and hearts? I don't know because the other thing I want to slip in here is my holy crap. My voice is going again. Hang the phone up. Oh my Lord. Okay. Now that my voice is back, um, I got my 2022 first quarter planner. So I think I want to slip this in the back here. So we're going to slip this in here. I used this last quarter and it was good. I was really not on task. It was a rough quarter. I'm going to give you that. But it is a really great um, goal setting and planning system. So I'm going for it again this, for this first quarter in 2022 because I have some pretty major goals I'm aspiring to um, for the new year. Well, intentions. I'm not really a resolution type of person. Um, and this kind of comes from my experience in the health and wellness industry for the last 30 years. And I'm going to tell you why. The majority of people that set fitness goals or health goals for New Year's don't go about it the right way. They haven't really given it a lot of thought. They haven't given thought to what the preparation would be like what the long term would be like. So in my experience, a lot of the times people are setting goals under the influence of alcohol at midnight on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And a lot of people don't stick with them. And this is the reason why. It sounds like a great thing. I'm going to get into better shape in the new year. I'm going to eat healthier in the new year. But that's the only thing people really think about. We need to break those goals down into bite-sized chunks. So we're literally going to, like when I take on clients, we reverse engineer is really what I'm doing. So if the client comes to me and says, I want to um, get healthier and feel better in the new year, and my first question to them is why? Why do you want to do that? And then we peel back some onion layers until we get a little bit more closer to what their motivation is. And a lot of times... It's not the motivation that they think it is. It's something on a subconscious level, which is great. We, we've broken through the barrier. We're on the right track. Then we sit down and we break all of those into chunks, just like you would goal set for anything else. So this is why I'm not really a huge resolutions person, because lovingly, I say this, people that join the gym in the new year, most of them are not going to the gym by the third, fourth week in January. Like it's cycle I see every single year people join the gym with the intention that they're going to go all the time they sign these memberships they're stuck in these contracts and by about the third or fourth week in January they've given up because it's hard and when you're trying to do it on your own it's even harder I mean there is a plethora of information out there on the internet but it's cycling through to find what is good information versus crap information because you know the internet basically gave everybody the option to just chat and <laughs> say whatever they want with no regards. But there you go. There's another little sort of <clears throat> offbeat tangent for you today. I told you, as, as we go, gang, there'll be opportunities. There's going to be more of them because that's just how I roll. Okay, let's go back to this. Oh, and obviously, if you have any questions um, about setting goals or setting up those resolutions, let's chat. I can give you a hand. If you really want that success, I'd rather assist you in getting there um, instead of you getting frustrated, right? So by all means, reach out to me. I've got resources like you would not believe on top of, you know, 30 years experience with all this stuff. So by all means, the door, <clears throat> excuse me, the door is open and my voice is going to go again. Holy Hannah. Okay, I think that's probably the sign I should wrap this damn video up because I've had to like clear my throat because my voice is going like to what, two, three times now? Okay, but where I was going with that is feel free to reach out. I'm here. Okay, we have daily. We have my ideas section. We'll have my research section, which is going to require some note paper at least to start. So I did grab some note paper. It's funny, I put note paper in these planners every single time I set them up and I don't really reach for it all that often. I mean, I do, but not nearly as often as you would think. But when I have sections like this, oh, that's a daily back there. One, two, three, 
Okay, so we're gonna pull these out because these should probably be up front with these guys, because these are dailies. And then this can go into the research section. And then I like to have a variety of different sizes of papers in my planner, just because it gives me options. What have I got here? Oh, I see. I don't really like the rainbow stuff. I don't even know where the heck I got that. Okay. And, oh, I have an extra one of these. Let's pull this out. And this can go right here. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're done. And look, see, I haven't even fully finished setting it up already. And it's, it's already kind of like girthy. It's girthy. This guy will go in here somewhere. I'm just not sure where. But I think that is a good setup for right now. And then, of course, I've still got all of the rest of this that I've got to figure out. Because this is what makes everything so chunky. Is all of my notes and... Yeah, just it's a lot. So i got to figure that stuff out. But I think this is a really good start. And I'm excited because I can actually... St I can, I'm in this planner. So pretty. Pretty, pretty. <clears throat> if you like this... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't always feel free to leave me a comment, you guys. And I'll see you again real soon.